So as I said, most people understand their own department, their own jobs, their own resources, their own functionality, but the global understanding of the company takes a team and it takes um, working with senior management because they have even a higher understanding and they have an understanding more that deals with, you know, like the market shares and the shareholders and such. There's a model, the uh, Zachman model, that actually we cover in um, enterprise architecture. But this is a very, this model's been around for a long time and it, it cuts up an organization into kind of understandable or digestible components. And because it's really kind of difficult to say, okay, what takes place in this company? What makes it run? What has to be in place? Uh, you really need to kind of lay it out of what needs to pr be protected. You know, what type of data do we have? Um, what type of uh, network, where the network is? What type of personnel that we need? And you break it down into different levels. You can, you know, one, like an easy way to think about it is like strategic, tactical, and operational. Um, strategic would be uh, senior management, overall arching understanding of, of how the company works. Tactical would be uh, the middle, you know, overseeing really uh, operations and would be mid-management. And, op and then operationals would be the uh, people actually working like an IT or carrying out the uh, steps within the business uh, processes. Now, this um, Zachman um, model even goes deeper than just those three levels. And it's a good model uh, to actually review. And again, we will see it in another domain. But this is an approach of how to understand a company. Uh, otherwise, everybody just kind of sitting around and they'll, they'll come up with this and they'll come with that and you'll keep documenting, but it won't actually make um, a lot of sense until you basically have to connect all the, um, all the dots to see what has to be up and running for this company. So we've uh, gone through how to identify the critical functions and we've done it pretty fast because at this point it usually takes uh, groups like seven months, you know, maybe even a year to get to this point. So the next step is to figure out what are the resources that these functions actually need. And there's a lot of different resources. Uh, it's not just technical. I mean, you, you do need to know what type of uh, networking services, what type of hardware and equipment uh, that's necessary. Um, you, you need to know what software is required. You know, it does not just operating system, but uh, the actual applications that, that's used to run uh, the whole business, um, the hardware that, that's being used. Now this is an interesting point is that a lot of times when teams go through this exercise of figuring out what resources are critical to the company, they'll find out that they're using maybe um, in-house developed software uh, that they couldn't like replace if the whole place got blown away or they have legacy hardware that they can no longer replace. So this is a exercise to go through and figure out we're really at risk because we can't actually replace the stuff that we depend upon. Um, so that would be, that's when some companies will actually make the move to go to um, uh, off the shelf software or uh, move to um, uh, hardware that they, they know that vendors can, can replace for them. So the other uh, resources, what type, you know, power, we need to have um, some type of backup power. Um, uh, we need to be able to communicate to outside entities like our customers, our, um, uh, our partners, our shareholders. How are we going to talk to them? Um, supplies that individuals would need and interdepartment uh, communication because the, the, you know, that's going to be very chaotic and there still needs to be communication between the critical functions. So it's basically like you come up with these, criti these hierarchies of critical functions and then you've got to figure out what resources each one of them needs because you need to s figure out how to ha make sure that there's backups, proper backups for all those resources. Another thing is um, point of contact. Who depends on your organization? Who has to communicate with your organization? What, you know, what's coming in and what's going out that's absolutely necessary for 
um, the, the survival of your company. So it's not just, you can't just look uh, within the network, within your own company, because today, you know, our world gets smaller and smaller because we're so interconnected with everybody else. So you need to expand it out to see who do we actually contact, who would be affected, and how would we be affected if we can't communicate to them. So we need to figure out how long these critical functions can last without the resources. Because up to this point, we've identified the critical uh, functions, we've identified the resources that they need, but how, how fast do they have to come online? That's what we need to uh, calculate. 